different video. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about my face powders, my powder foundations, my bronzers, finishing powders, things like that. Um, you guys know that on a typical day to day, I do not wear foundation, um, liquid foundation that is. So a lot of people have been asking me like, what do you use? Like what products do you recommend as far as face powders so you don't look like you have foundation on? Sometimes I hate to break it to you guys that when you wear powder foundation, sometimes it can look like you have more makeup on rather than when you had a liquid foundation that was the right coverage, the right texture formula for you. So just keep that in the back of your mind. But on a day to day, it on the day to day regular, it is me wearing powder foundation. So um, I really only wear my liquid foundation, which again, my Laura Mercier Silk Cream is my favorite. I only really wear that when I have like a something like going out on the weekends or um, you know like a wedding or something that I have to be like you know christening something big you know what I mean like or um, I don't know girls nights things like that like I usually do but going to work going to the store going out to dinner sometimes depends on who it's with you know those kind of things I don't really put all that effort into it just because I feel like it takes forever and a day sometimes and my eye makeup usually takes enough and I'm sorry if I'm really washed out like I'm looking like kind of blue but it is nighttime so sorry anyways okay so let's just get started um I'll start with um bronzers actually this one this bronzer is as old as the hills but it's still very very good um it depends on what you want out of a bronzer I really like um shimmers and mattes I don't contour with a shimmer and I don't really suggest ever doing that um but if you do it works, but it just doesn't look as natural to me. Um, so this one is a matte. This is by Benefit and this, it's Hula. Um, you guys have probably heard about this. Seriously, this is as old as the hills. Um, I don't even know where that analogy or where that saying came from. I'm pretty sure my grandparents and my mother say that. But anyway, you can see I've used the heck out of it and I'm continuing to use this. Just looks like that. Just a solid matte bronzer. Now, you definitely, if you use this as an all over bronzer rather than just contouring, you definitely have to be on the tan -er side because if you use this as an overall bronzer, you're gonna look muddy. So just side note on that, but it's a really good product and I love it. Next, okay, this is a shimmer and this package as well is beat up. Um, I've dropped this about a mm, hundred times. This is the Lorac Tantalizer SPF 15 and you can see the lid just fell off. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Now this is definitely a shimmer. So I again, I again, again, I do not contour with this. But what I use this for is sometimes when I don't wanna have like a blush on, um, and I don't wanna like look, look like pinky, like blush, which is usually my everyday. But sometimes when I just like wanna look like bronze and like glowy I'll use this as like a blush mixed with maybe a little bit of color like a regular blush and like you know add this into it I really really like this um this tantalizer is really really popular um at least I know from going in there and trying to find it and it's not there so yeah so this is good Lorac tantalizer this is the baked matte satin bronzer um okay let me see what else are bronzers this is pretty much my go-to. Um, sometimes I sometimes I use this because it's um, not super dark for me. This is the NYC Sunny Bronzer, and y'all have heard about this. I'm about to hit pan. Um, it looks like that. So this isn't super dark. Let me compare it to the Hula. So Hula is definitely darker. So this sometimes I can use for a powder foundation if I'm that tan, like maybe in the summertime that'll work for me. But um, you can contour with this if, depending on your skin tone. But sometimes I use this as an all over bronzer more than contouring. So that's usually my go-to with this. But I love this. This is like $3. This is such good quality. And I have backups of these because I'm terrified. And there's rumors that it's like going to be discontinued. And I'm not being without this. So um, I love that. Next, my nose itches. Next is this Too Faced bronzer. This is the chocolate 
Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa, and I've talked about this a million times, and it looks like this. This is definitely a bronze, and if you are fair and use this all over, you're gonna look muddy as well. So I use this to contour. Um, smells like Hershey chocolate. I feel like it, it takes me like Hershey Park, and I wanna be like in chocolate world, like, you know, like eating it. I love this, this is great, and it stays on all day. It smells good, like it's awesome. Sorry. And I feel like um, when the summer when I'm like, you know, tan, like I might be able to use this for all over, but this is definitely my go-to for contour. Okay, next let me talk about a highlighter. I mentioned this is my favorite. This is the MAC um, Extra Diminished extra dimension skin finish in whisper of guilt and this is my go-to highlighter love this and this I have lots of highlighters a lot of them are um, like liquids or creams but this is my favorite powder highlighter NARS albatross used to be my go-to but I mean this compared to this that is just so much more shimmer and so much more highlighting effect than that ever did so I love this so I forgot about, about a bronzer. This um, has definitely been a great bronzer. This is also has shimmers. This is Sephora Aruba bronzer. This is Sephora brand. I love this, as you can see. Um, this is definitely not a contour. I use this all over my face. So it looks like that. I don't know if you can see the shimmers in it. It's not too shimmery, but it definitely has some in it. So just FYI. Next is my favorite One Hot Minute. You guys have talked about this before. I will link my rave review below. You have to check that out. This You have to check this product out. It is, I'm just obsessed. Like seriously, I'm, I just like hold this on a nice little pedestal. Like I just wish there was like encrusted with diamonds because I feel like it's worthy of it. Um, okay, so let's get into powder foundations. Um, that is kind of what I think y'all are really watching this for. So I've always, and I, okay, I use all of these products. I switch them out, depends on the day. I have a number one, what I reach for, but I all, I love every single one of them pretty much equally. Does that make any sense? Um, okay, so first we'll talk with Bare Minerals. This is my this has been my number one up until probably about a month or two ago with the primer i think that this sucks without a primer like you need i use the prime time this one with this but i feel like if i didn't use a primer this does not last all day especially through my 12 hour shifts at work so yeah with the primer i think it looks so good it did hold me all 14 hours I love this. I will always buy this. And I'm in the color N30 Tan. So that is that. Next um, is this powder, which um, I definitely love. Now there's a couple things about this. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Looks like this. I'm in the color Golden Beige. I love this. This has definitely got... A great mix of colors where it's kind of just fits me so well because it's got like a little bit of the yellow undertones that I have even though who knows what I'm coming off right now but I love this it comes with a little I'm like so bad at opening this thing whoa there it is a little puff in the bottom like a sponge the only thing with this is you have to I like to like go over my face and then kind of go over it again just like kind of set my powder foundation I don't know but if you put too much of this on you will look a little talky a little powdery so just note that about this one but I love this I actually where did I get this from I got this from Ulta and I actually bought a backup at NYC eye mats that I totally forgot about that was like in the bottom of my purse so love that next is my MAC mineralized skin finish natural and it looks like this. I'm in the color medium dark. I love this. I This is like my summer powder foundation. I feel like when I'm tan and I don't have, need as much coverage, I love this. It definitely, I love this most for when I finish my liquid foundation. This is kind of like my finishing prod, 
product but you can wear this on the on its own I just think that like unless my skin is on the best of its days that's like when I need this but when I need like more coverage I don't go for this one but I do love this this is worth the money for sure and lastly is my new favorite I'm so excited I love this so much this is the Laura Geller balance and brightening bright brighten brightening looks like this I'm gonna open it up it's baked and now this looks like a bronzer guys you guys are probably like yeah to your foundation I have it on today it matches me and you can totally see my bra so I keep doing that but I love this stuff I feel like it's since the like marbleization that you got going on here it just makes it so balanced and bright I don't know I feel like it's great coverage I haven't used it enough to really know what kind of days that I'm going to be able to use this but I know today I love it and past couple days I've really liked it so and I'm in the color tan right now and I think through the summer I'm going to be tan but I'm definitely going to have to get the medium one for the winter and fall but that is it for my favorite face products and powder foundations I hope you guys enjoyed this if you're noticing I do have my extensions in so they're really long and I really like them I don't know if you guys can see me but I love them and if you guys want to see a review on these extensions and what they are and all about them just give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below and um, that is it I'll see you guys later bye